Excuse how much me. are taxpayers on the hook for for the losses at the Bank of Canada? Um, uh, ultimately, six billion dollars. at The end. So, um, as I said, very much contingent on on. Um, on interest rates, uh, we do have legislation that's been passed now that lets us um, uh, uh, retain our earnings. Normally, at the end of every year, we would have remitted whatever our earnings were um, to to the government. And and once the assets that uh, you described roll off our balance sheets, we will be back in positive earnings, and that will fill that sort of that uh, uh, overall loss. And then we'll be back to remitting. Uh, to, to government. We expect to be back in a positive situation in about um, two years, and then and then we would continue remitting back to government. So, so just to clarify, you say it was a $6 billion loss? Total. Total. Yeah. So the Bank of Canada is losing $6 billion. Your point about rolling that into uh, taking advantage of the new legislation that allows you to retain earnings, still it still does have the effect that the bank will not be remitting I guess dividends, for lack of a better word, to the government, so that yeah, there still is basis. a cost to the taxpayer. Period. Yeah, on a temporary basis. I mean, prior to the um, the uh, quantitative easing, we would turn about a two billion dollar surplus a year over to government, and we will get back there eventually. So, but there is a there's a temporary period of time where we have losses that will roll up, and okay. we so expect to be back to remitting to the government in a positive situation. Okay. So I guess uh, if you normally remitted about $2 billion a year and you're going to lose $6 billion this year, that's, a, that's an $8 billion swing. Uh, that was a total, but yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. And if interest rates stay high, it, it, it could keep the bank in a deficit position for longer? Yeah, as I said, our, uh, the loss is always an estimate because it's based on the yield on, on our bond portfolio, so it's a bit sensitive to interest rates. Uh, that portfolio is government bonds. Yes, yeah. primarily. Yeah. Not much of a portfolio in the traditional sense. It's just one, one kind of holding. It's one type of holding. One issuer, yeah. Yeah. Um, and if interest rates go up, do you have a contingency plan? Have you done any estimations? If you, if you do have to raise interest rates, uh, what that might do to your, your bond holdings and, and, and uh, the deficit position? I mean, we run a sensitivity analysis regularly. Um, so our, our finance team is quite separate from our policy setting team. We'll like any organization, we run a sensitivity analysis on our, on our portfolio. Okay. Thanks very much for that uh, explanation.